Mashallah. Where are you from? Okay, Bangladesh, mashallah. Ahlan wa sahlan. Alhamdulillah, you see many colors and cultures here, alhamdulillah. Mashallah, Uzbekistan, mashallah, Albania, mashallah, America, white American, African American, all Salafis. It doesn't matter. These brothers are closest to us than our own brothers, alhamdulillah. And Bangladesh, alhamdulillah. Huh? Naam, tafadl. Naam. Good question. Good question. Naam. I know the doubt. You're asking a question. It's not a, a lecture, right? I know what you're saying. The doubt you're bringing is very old, right? And the question of what Allah called us Muslims in the Quran. Let me ask you a quick question. Naam, Jayid, are you a Sunni or a Shi'i? Are you a Sunni? Or are you a Shi'i? I'm a Muslim who... Okay, wait, wait. Okay, no, c- continue. Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Why are you calling yourself Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah? The Prophet never said call yourself Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. That is, you know, the Prophet said... No, no, the Prophet never said no. The conditions you gave, you opposed them. The Prophet did not say Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So, uh, so in, uh, the conditions you gave, you've opposed them. Your answer is my answer. The same, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah is not in the Quran. Allah never said, call yourself Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, but you just called yourself Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So the ayah you mentioned as a proof against Salafiyya is a proof against you for calling yourself Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Right? That's one. Secondly, the proofs that you use, Alhamdulillah, to call yourself Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, Naam, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah was not mentioned in the Quran. However, the companions, they used it. The Sahaba. The companions, they used it. Why? To differentiate between themselves and the people of Bid'ah. Like, for example, it's narrated upon Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhuma, with regards to the ayah, Yawma tabyaddu wuju wa taswaddu wuju. On that day, some faces will be dark and some faces will be white. He said, is it narrated upon him, as for the faces of Ahl sunnah they will be white. As for the faces of in, people of innovation, they will be dark. That's mentioned in Tafsir ibn Kathir and other sources. There is a maqal in the chain of the narration, but the meaning is sahih. Likewise, Imam Muslim, rahimahullah, he brings the narration of, I think, Muhammad ibn Sirin, rahimahullah. He said, Lamma waqa'atil fitna. When the fitna arose, we looked to the people of the sunnah and we accepted the hadith. Meaning, we rejected the hadith of the people of bid'ah. So the salaf, they referred to themselves as Ahl sunnah Why? To differentiate between themselves and the people of innovation. You with me? Are you with me? Okay, okay wait. Let me finish. No, I'm, I'm saying, are you with me so far? Tayyib. So we've established that Allah didn't say, call yourself Ahl sunnah with the ayah that you brought. But the Sahaba, they called themselves Ahl sunnah when the splitting arose. Why? Because the Prophet Sallallahu he told us, Hadith al-Iftiraq, which is an authentic hadith, Established by many authentic chains. This ummah was split into 73 sects. All of them into the, in, in the hellfire except for one. They said, who are they, O Messenger of Allah? قالوا, in one narration, he said it's the jama'ah, the orthodox body. In another narration, which again, some of the ulama like Shaykh al-Bani and others before him, they said, Hassan al-Ghayrihi. Mimman Hassan wa Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah declared it to be sound as well. Those who are upon that which me and my companions are upon today. Tayyib. When the Muslims split, the Sahaba, they referred to the Ahl sunnah as Ahl sunnati wal Jama'ah. This was the understanding of the Salaf. And also after that, they referred to themselves as Ahl al-Hadith. Right? Imam Ahmed rahimahullah. Imam al-Bukhari, who I know the brother, alhamdulillah, is going to say they're more knowledgeable than him. You accept that, right? Akhi, I know you, yeah, move over this way because the brother's praying. I know he's blocking you. You accept that Bukhari is more knowledgeable than you, right? Exactly. And Imam Ahmed, right? When they asked him about the saved sect, he said they're Ahl al-Hadith, right? So Ahl al-Sunnati wal-Jama'ah, Ahl al-Hadith, Salafiyya, 
they are all synonymous terms. They mean exactly the same thing. That is why the ulama of Islam, the scholars of Islam, who preceded me and preceded you, right, referred to themselves, many of them, as being Salafi. Instead of someone saying, yes, I can tell you, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah, he said, conveying ijma' a consensus, la ibah. على من أظهر مذهب السلف وانتسب إليه واعتز إليه There is nothing wrong with somebody ascribing themselves to the Salaf, saying I'm Salafi. He said this is with unanimous agreement of the Muslims. Why? Because it's the same as Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It's the same as Ahlul Hadith. They all mean the same thing. So instead of sitting there and telling me, like I asked you, you said, I'm Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, or I follow the Quran, and I follow the Sunnah with the understanding of the Sahaba, you say it in one word. Shaykh al-Albani said, Rahimahullah, Khair al-Karam aqalla wa dal. The best speech is that which is to the point. We don't want to be there for hours saying, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. You say it in one word, Alhamdulillah. I'm Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, or I'm Salafi, or I'm Sunni, or I'm Ahlul Hadith, to differentiate yourself from the various groups and parties. In our time, the Sufis, they say that Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. At the time of Ibn Taymiyyah, the time of al Dahabi, the time of others. The ulama of Islam accepted this term and they utilized it. So there's nothing wrong with it. Rather than sitting there and telling someone, he says, are you a Sunni or Shi'i? You say, um, I'm, uh, uh, I'm Sunni. Tell you, what type of Sunni are you? Are you Sunni Sufi? You Sunni, you know, Ash'ari? Sunni Maturidi? You say, no, I'm Sunni. I follow Quran, Sunnah, understanding of the Salaf. Alhamdulillah. Salafi, Shaykh al-Albani said, khalli hadha. Leave all that. One word, Salafi. Somebody comes to you, they say, you tablighi? You don't have to t- sit there for five minutes. No, I'm this, I follow Quran, Sunnah, understanding of Sahaba, blah, blah, blah. You say one word. And alhamdulillah, the ulama of Islam from the people of the Sunnah, none of them have opposed this term. You're not a alim, you accept that, right? Naam? Yeah. yeah, you accept that you're not a scholar. Yeah. Sheikh al-Albani, rahimahullah, alim in ulama al dunya fil hadith. Sheikh al-Fawzan, alim in ulama al dunya. Sheikh Ibn Baz, Alim in Ulama al Dunya. Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin, Alim in Ulama al Dunya. Sheikh Mukbin, Alim in Ulama al Dunya. We can go on and mention the Mu'asirun, the senior scholars of today. None of them objected to the term Salafi. How could they when the scholars preceded them? Dhahabi, rahimahullah, in his advice, he said, Kun Salafiyan, be a Salafi. Imam Dhahabi, rahimahullah, the famous Mu'arikh al Hafid, is he going to advise with something that is newly invented? No. Like we don't have a problem with the term Sunni. We don't have a problem with the term Ahl sunnah wal Jama'ah. We should not have a problem with the term Salafi. Naam. The only people that have a problem with that term are people that, mother, maybe they oppose that term. That's just the reality. Barakallahu feekum. Naam. Jazakumullah khairan. Any other questions, Ikhwan? Huh? Alhamdulillah, it's wild. It's like the sun in the sky, alhamdulillah. Like I said, the one who wants the truth is there. And it's possible. A person may, just to further clarify, a, f- a person may not know the term Salafi, right? They may never, like, say for example, one of us has a grandmother. But alhamdulillah, her aqidah is according to Quran, Sunnah, with the understanding of Salaf, the Salaf. She's Salafi, even though she doesn't use the term. Somebody may be in China, they may never have heard of the term Salafi, the actual term. But their aqidah is Quran, Sunnah, with the understanding of the Salaf. They're Salafi. So as for naming oneself Salafi, again, it's not an obligation. But at the same time, when they asked Sheikh Al-Fawzan, he said there's nothing wrong with it. He said rather at certain times, it is to be used to differentiate yourself from the people of innovation. Barakallahu feekum. Naam.